This is a video about trail gaiters, the kind that you wear on your shoes. It's not a video about neck gaiters, um, which are very valuable uh, pieces of hiking equipment as well, but we'll focus solely on trail gaiters. What are they? How do you use them? Why do you want them? Let's get started. I'm a bit crazy about hiking at Grand Canyon. I first saw trail gaiters about a decade ago when a gal who worked there was wearing bandanas tied around her ankles to keep the rocks out of her shoes. I thought it was pretty clever. Soon thereafter, I began seeing trail gaiters on ultra shoes, which really makes sense. I checked the price and at the time it was about $20, now about $30 retail, and I thought, gosh, that's awfully expensive. But as I hiked, and particularly when I hiked in low-cut shoes, I would stop and empty rocks out of my shoes about four times per hike. I thought, if there's a way to get around this, I should get it. These are my daily walking shoes. I walk on a dirt and rocky trail. Uh, these are Ultra Olympus 4. And Ultra had a real sales pitch. They have a gator trap, a covered piece of Velcro in the back, a hook in the front, and they make a gator that fits. Let's see how it works. I simply push the gators up my leg, put on my shoes, hook the rear Velcro in, the front hook on. I like to tuck my sock over the gator for a little more sealing. and then I'm ready to go. I found the Ultras work extraordinarily well. They do not give up their grip. They stay on all the time. Highly effective in keeping rocks out of the top of the shoe. I wear these every day when I walk. For long hikes, particularly Grand Canyon, rim to river to rim, rim, rim and rim to rim, I like a mid shoe for the extra ankle support. These are Ultra Lone Peak 4s, and you can see that they're equipped with the gator trap and the hook, making gator use very easy even on a mid. With the gator traps on a mid Ultra, putting the gator on is simple and effective, and rocks stay out. Unfortunately, on shoes like the Olympus 5, Altra has eliminated the gator trap and the hook, but you can still use gaiters on these. You can glue on a piece of Velcro on the rear. You can either hook to the laces or give yourself a little hook. This is just a uh, lightweight key ring in the front and still be able to use the gaiters. Even without the gator trap, The gaiters can be used effectively. There is sometimes a bit of loss of adhesion on a long hike in the rear, but they work. You'll note that on the back of the gaiter, when you're not with a gaiter trap, I put a little cover strip. And there's a reason for this. I've pulled the hems out of two sets of pants by either hiking without a gaiter and having the hem catch and tear in the Velcro strip. And that prevents this from happening. You don't need to be wearing Altra shoes to be able to use the Altra gaiter or other brands of gaiters. This is a pair of Solomon Ultra 3s, Velcro strip on the back. Let's see how they work out. Laced up, I simply hook the gator on the Velcro, choose a place, and put the hook through the laces. I find these highly effective and my favorite shoes for hiking at Grand Canyon. We're ready to go. 
when you purchase the Altra Gators, they come with the protective tab. They also come with a self-adhesive tab that you can put on an Altra shoe without Gators or any other brand shoe. For a while they were available only in black. Luckily now they have gray and red. I much prefer the lighter colors for keeping cool on hot summer days. For a while, Outdoor Research made these Surge Running Gators. No longer in production, but there are still some kicking around on the internet. They have the front hook, but in back, instead of Velcro, they have a silicone strip. It worked surprisingly effectively to keep these on while hiking, particularly for me on a mid-shoe. Laced up, you simply find a place for the silicone strip to grab. Hook into the laces and you are ready to go. The silicone strip does on a long hike tend to slip and slide up, but on a mid, even if it's riding higher, I found I still got effective protection against rocks. Topo Athletic makes a gator that works a little bit differently. It hooks onto two plastic holes in the back with these hooks. Attaches in the front. and Velcros over the top. These gaiters are specific for use with Topo shoes, will not work with any other shoes. I've reviewed them in a short separate video. I do not really like these gaiters. There are other gaiter options as well. There are many on uh, sites like amazon.com, which are very similar to these outdoor research or Topo gaiters, typically using Velcro on the back. There are also gaiters that have a strap that hooks underneath your shoe or boot. Those are not at all durable in extremely rocking conditions, and they're also pretty much impossible to use when you don't have that gap between the heel and forefoot of the shoe, like on these Ultra Olympus. You might ask about the durability of these gaiters. Around town, walking on dirt trails, they last for a long, long time. But on a rough hike in extreme conditions like rim to rim to rim, I typically go through a pair of gaiters on the hike. These went on a rim to rim hike and have developed holes in the sides. And yet, they still kept rocks out effectively. A fellow on the trail asked me, don't you trash out your gaiters on these hikes, and it's true, especially on rim to rim, I do. But with all the time, money, and effort you invest in that rim to rim hike, I think $30 is a small price to pay to keep from having to empty rocks out of your shoes. For me, are trail gaiters worth it? Absolutely yes, I would say they are almost essential. What is my favorite trail gator? At this time, it is the Ultra Running Gator. You can wear them with Ultra shoes that have the gator trap, or use the Velcro um, strips that come with it to use them on just about any other shoe. Gators, definitely worth it.